To say that being an, uh, a team physician for, for the Miami Dolphins was a dream is, is such an understatement because I never even considered it as a possibility to put it in as a dream. It never even came into consideration. The first day of training camp, Dr. Uribe told me, please dress in professional attire. So I come to this August training camp outdoors in a shirt and tie, pants and shoes, trying my best to look professional, be professional, hopelessly sweating. The general manager at the time came up to me and he said, listen, I can't even look at you like this. He's like, I want you to go inside, get, get a t-shirt and shorts and come back out here. He's like, I can't have you. He's like, I feel so bad looking at you. He's like, I don't want anything to happen. If I had to go back and talk to my 10 year old self and said, hey, you're gonna be the team doctor for the Miami Dolphins, I, I think a small part of me would be, you know, upset that I wasn't one of the players on the team and that I, I didn't make it on the field. And, you know, it took a little while till uh, I realized that athletically I would not make it, but scholastically I was able to do other things and still stay with sports. And so I, I still get to wear, you know, the, the official gear. The team travels with three doctors, Dr. Uribe, Dr. Yagnik, and myself travel with the team, on the team plane with them from start to finish. We're there in case of emergency, and we're also there for the games to help cover the games. Early on, meeting Dan Marino for the first time, meeting Don Shula, I, I think that was a, a big thing for me, you know, growing up watching them play and succeed. At this point, I don't typically get the, the wow factor as much when I meet famous athletes. During a game situation, when guys are going at 100 to 110%, that's when we see more of the injuries like the fractures, the ankle sprains. All those things that you hear about usually happen more in a game during training camp. We always worry about heat-related illness. Everything you can think of does come up. These are the tables where everyone gets their rehab, where they get taped up in recovery. You can see all the different equipment that are different stations. This is as advanced as it gets. And then those taller tables are really to save the backs of the athletic trainers taping the athletes. This is the best things you can buy. This is a treadmill that's underwater. Players with an injury can go underwater and start moving. And when you're in, when you're in underwater, you're one fifth of your normal gravity but they can change that based on the height of the treadmill that's sitting there. So as they start out, they can have the athlete almost submerged. And then as they're able to get more of their body weight and run, you can bring it up. Players who are injured, a lot of times they can go on a bike. They can be on the second floor recovering from their injury and still watch practice to see what's going on. It's all to keep everyone involved so that even if they're injured, they don't fall too far behind on the playbook and the game plan. I, I could say a lot of people ask me if being a team doctor is, is helpful uh, for my practice. I can tell you that most of the patients that come into my office do not know that I'm the team physician. Being a part of the team is a personal reward and also helps me do my job with my patients. Go Dolphins!